Community demanding justice for Dixie, a family's beloved dog who was shot and killed by a police officer. We've been covering this story for a few days now. 19 Stephen Hernandez live at the Lorraine Police Station. Stephen, I can still see family supporters gathering there since about 11 today. Has the police department responded in any way? <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. You can you can see you can still see it, but you can also still hear it. All of these people are gathered here demanding justice for Dixie. You can see a lot of cars on this intersection on Broadway and West Erie honking the horns, making noise, revving their engines. Seems like they have a lot of community support right now. Now, to answer your question, there was an officer that came out in the middle of the protest saying that this is still under investigation, but they understand the reactions and the heartbreak that community is feeling right now. It's a story that we've been covering and sharing with you for a while. A three-year-old dog, Dixie, was shot during the 4th of July weekend on July, July 2nd. And we have some of the body cam to show you of that incident that the police department released as an issue of transparency, making sure that they share that information with the community. This is still under investigation, but the owners of the dog, they, they see that as something as totally unnecessary. They see that that's something that shouldn't have happened. The dogs, they explained that they were antsy because of fireworks. They ran out and eventually the officer shot at the dog and didn't allow them to be near the dog, according to the, the owners of Dixie. But this is something that has already been shared across the world. And as you can hear the police department, they see that there's been reactions on a global scale to this issue. Let's take a listen. Uh, our thoughts and our prayers on behalf of the entire Lorraine Police Department go out to the Kearns family and to our community that's hurting as well. About how many emails and stuff did you all get? Uh, we've had quite a bit of emails. Um, I, I think the gentleman, Mr. Mike here, um, that talked about it, it was international. And, and we have, and we've certainly heard it. And again, Chief McCann um, has certainly been active and involved in, in the emails. And we try to be constructive. Some of them are not so constructive, as you can imagine. Um, and we understand that as well. Um, outrage, hurt, uh, anger. But, uh, but all of this makes a difference, and we hope that it can make us better in the long run. Well, we'll continue to bring you those details of the investigation as they become available, but there's a lot of people here that do have words to share, including the owners of Dixie and other protesters, and we'll be able to share those details with you later on in the day during the later newscast. But for now, this is all we have right here live in Lorraine. Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.